Hey, it's Patrick from Possum Boy Motorsport and this is our fourth update on the billet block build. This week we've mainly been working on the fabrication as well as the cooling system of this car. So the cooling system upgrades that we've installed this week are the Koyo aluminium radiator. This is a very nice quality, very efficient unit. So they will do a good job on this uh, race application. And we've also fitted the Process West uh, oil cooler. So the core fits perfectly with the uh, front mount intercooler. It comes with all the brackets and lines. So it's really easy to install and very clean. We've used a lot of Process West uh, intercoolers over the time and so that's why we've opted for this core here as well. Being a custom application, we're just reusing the core and making our own piping, um, but it works really well. And the factory STI front bumper has got large openings for really good airflow, so the cooling efficiency will be very good. Being the level this build is, we've opted to go away from normal silicon joiners. So we've gone a step up and gone for these vibrant, well done clamps. No real risk of them popping off on the, on the racetrack, no matter if we are putting a lot of boost through it. They're designed for it. They also have a pin to remove them very easily. So it's a great design and this is designed for like higher levels of boost. So as you saw last time, we have uh, fitted the engine into the engine bay. Now with the radiator and a couple more components fitted, that was enough for us to start the fabrication process. So we've started to weld the intercooler piping up um, on, on the driver's side, all the way up to the turbo. We modified the compressor housing to have our elbow coming straight out of the compressor housing that will go under the process waste plenum. The outlet from the compressor housing is uh, a common area that can pop off with silicon joiners. So that's why we have welded an elbow onto it and we've run it underneath the process waste manifold because it is clean and tidy and out of the way. Plus it gives us more room for a nice big cold air intake that we're running on the other side of the plenum. So the first section coming out of the intercooler core, it doesn't need to move a whole lot. This is why we've added a little brace underneath that is rubber mounted so it does allow a little bit of movement um, to counteract the vibration, but it is a lot more rigid there. Further work has been completed on our heat shield that has now been ceramic coated um, for heat management just behind the turbocharger so we keep the heat away from the brakes and clutch components. We've also started to make up the, the intake so we've got a four inch pipe here that is made it to a four inch high flow k and air filter and that fits perfectly to the compressor housing of the G3770. We are going to make a cold air box that will keep the hot air from the engine bay away from the intake. So our G3770 only re receives cold air. We've also started fabricating up a bunch of reservoirs. So we've got the heated tank here, which has been fabricated in-house. And then we've got a large catch can, which, <coughs> which will be able to hold up to two liters, which it needs to meet the Motorsport New Zealand regulations for a 2.5 liter turbo car. 
So we have opted to make one of these in-house because the factory unit, they are out of plastic. They, they're known to uh, for failures. And they're also mounted on the side of the engine where our intake goes. So it's in the way, it's not going to work and it's not up to the standard of the build. So we made this, which will mount at the highest point of the cooling system. So it will be easy to pleat and it will be no maintenance. It will be 100% reliable. So that's it for this episode. We are going to carry on our fabrication work, including the downpipe modifications, finishing the intercooler piping, all the way up to the throttle body as well, adapting it to the plenum. And we are going to start working on the fuel system, plus the electronics package to get this car all going. So I'm very excited to see you next time with more updates from the billet block build.